Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on stop motion animation. My name is John, and I'm a technician at University for the Creative Arts. I also work as a comic book artist, and have worked as a video game artist in the past. Today we're going to be using an app called Stop Motion Studio. It's free to download and free to use the basic features. Uh, you only need to pay if you want to unlock some of the more advanced features. To make a stop motion animation, you'll need a surface to work on. This can be any table, or it could even be the floor, or even your bed. You will also need some colored paper, a pencil, scissors, a glue stick or tape, a mobile phone, and a tripod for your mobile phone. If you don't have a tripod, that's alright. You can always prop your phone against a couple of books or something else. Uh, just whatever you do, don't try to hold your phone in the same position while making your animation. If you do that, you're likely going to get a very shaky animation. You might also want to use a lamp or two when you animate. The more light sources you have, the less likely you will be to have any unwanted shadows that are being cast on top of your work. So when you get started, make sure you open all the curtains and turn on as many lights as you possibly can. Before we get too far ahead, let's talk about what stop motion animation actually is. So any film, video, or animation, it's a series of still images. And when these images are put together in a series and shown very quickly, uh, our brains combine these still images and it makes it look like it's moving. So if I wanted to make it look like the red dot is moving, I'll take a series of images and then put them together. If I want the red dot to move faster, I'll move it farther in each image. If I want it to move slow, then I'll take more images and move it a shorter distance in each one. For my animation, I cut out an underwater scene from my colored paper and glued it together. Then I animated some fish swimming through. So here it is. Now let me give you a few tips on using Stop Motion Studio. So to create a new animation, go ahead and select New Movie. There's quite a few um, features to this app, so I'm just going to cover the basics. Uh, if you click on the settings icon to the left, you can adjust a number of different settings. The first is frame rate. This is how many frames or still images per second the viewer is going to see. So the more frames per second you include, the smoother your animation will look. Less frames is going to give you a choppy look, but you might want that. Um, but keep in mind that more frames equals more work. So for reference, my animations are 15 frames per second, and most films are going to be around 24 frames per second. You can also adjust the frame size. I'll be working in HD TV. Once you have your phone and paper cutout set up, it's time to animate. So select the camera icon to start creating. There's two ways to go about this. You can either manually capture an image using the red button, or you can set the timer to capture an image every few seconds automatically, and just make sure you move your pieces of paper in between those captures. Now, I recommend you have a plan before you start. Make sure you know what you want to have happened by one, two, or three seconds, and then calculate how many frames that will take. Here I've done a couple of sketches for 0, 1, 2, and 3 seconds of my animation and just made a little label for where I want each of my fish to be at that point. Also make sure to play back your work as you go. If you want to export your video, go back to the main screen, press select, select a video, and then press the share icon. From here you can export as a movie, GIF, or a number of other options. Now of course you don't have to be limited to just cut out paper. You can make animations a number of different ways. You could use toys. Or household objects. Or you could even do a time lapse video and capture something that is living. Just make sure that you have fun, experiment, and let your imagination run wild. So good luck making your animations.